Hello 8th graders and welcome to Math Weekly number 1. In this video our focus skill will be unit rates and rates of change. A unit rate by definition is a ratio that is a comparison in which the second amount is 1. In your own words you may say comparing an amount to 1. You have experience with unit rates. If you've been to the store and said this shirt cost me $14.95 you are really saying a unit rate, $14.99 for or per one shirt. You are comparing a cost for one. You may have said a statement like, my grandpa was driving 20 miles per hour down the interstate. You are making a unit rate comparison, 20 miles in one hour, comparing how far with how long in one hour. Each time I get my allowance, I save $5 of it. So that'd be $5 every one week. Another unit rate. This phone uses 5% of its battery life every hour. 5% every one hour. You've made lots of unit rate comparisons in your life. The thing is, sometimes you must calculate the unit rate. You can't just come up with that statement to begin with. So for example, when I went shopping, I bought four shirts for $36. You're still making a rate comparison by saying $36 is four shirts, but to be a unit rate, it needs to be one shirt. So reduce it by four, divide both the numerator and the denominator by four to get $9 for one shirt. This is a unit rate because it's comparing how much for one. We drove 300 miles to the beach in six hours. You've made a rate comparison, 300 miles every six hours. Reduce that by six and you have a unit rate, 50 miles per one hour. Here is your unit rate because it's being compared to one. I've been saving money for 10 weeks now and have, saved, have $50 saved. You've made a rate comparison, $50 is 10 weeks, but you need to reduce it by 10 to get the cost, the amount of money in one week. This is a unit rate because it's comparing how much for one. This phone went dead in 20 hours, so it went from 100%, 100% depleted in 20 hours. Reduce it by 20, 5% depletion per one hour. Here is your unit rate. So the unit rate is not always just given to you, but sometimes needs to be calculated by dividing down a rate to create a unit rate. When you hear rate of change, a rate of change describes how a relationship constantly changes. Because proportional relationships change at a unit rate, a rate of change is a synonym for unit rate. However, we often see rate of change used instead of unit rate when we're looking at charts and graphs. So although these, synon these are synonyms, we often use them in different places. In your own words, you may ask yourself when you're looking at for a rate of change, how is a relationship changing? Let's look at an example. The chart below shows the cost a plumber charged for certain jobs he has recently completed. So this is how many hours he's worked. This is how much the job cost. Two hours was $16. Three hours was $24. Four hours was $32. Eight hours was $64. Describe the rate of change. How much money did he get for each hour? Then use the rate of change to determine the cost for 10 hours. Now here, you see a lot of information. You do not need all of this. You need to hone in on just one comparison. The rate here that I've circled is $16 in two hours. This is not a rate of change. This is just a rate. But if I reduce it by two to get to a unit rate of $8 for one hour, I can see that this is how the chart's changing. It went up $8 when he worked one more hour. It went up another $8 
when he worked one more hour. But I can also see this here. He worked eight hours, multiply that by eight, and that gives me 64. So if I were to describe the rate of change, the plumber's rate of change is eight dollars per hour. Now it asks us to go on and, and use that rate of change to determine ten hours. So if I take ten hours times eight, that'd be eighty dollars. So for ten hours of work, the plumber would charge eighty dollars. So let's summarize what we've learned. A unit rate and a rate of change both look at how much per one. We don't want to think in bulk, but in how much each relates to. So we don't want to look at the pack of paper towels and how they cost me $9.30 for 12, but that each roll, one roll, costs 78 cents. Looking at how much per one. Here is your unit rate.